Hello, welcome back, YouTuber. I'm Easy B. This is Easy B Tactical. Thanks for watching. I've been I've been posting short videos lately, but I wanted to talk to you about my first six hour build or assembly, if you, if you will. So it's the first time I put together a six hour pistol or handgun, and I just wanted to kind of share my experience and talk about the pistol. If you enjoyed this video, share, post a comment, subscribe to the channel, and let's grow this channel together. Let's get started. Alright, before we go deep into the actual farm, all farms have been safety checked, unloaded, even if the magazine is inserted, everything is safe, no ammunition is around. So, before we talk more about this build, what inspired me was the fact that <coughs> I'm kind of, I only had one SIG, this is my SIG P365XL carry, shoots very well, I shot a match or training session and I during the training session I shot someone else P320 and I really liked the way it felt so I decided to build one for myself one of these days I was not in a hurry I was not in a rush but I wanted a few things instead of just buying a CP320 or building just a black one I I did decide that in 2021 I would try to get as many as much color in my firearms collection as possible so black stuff but mostly non-black stuff if I can and I wanted to do a few things I wanted something that will be not black and I got inspiration for my 19x so something around the 19x uh, in terms of color so I wanted to do 10 or coyote color I did want to have something about Wilson combat because like the big idea over here I really love the texture of Wilson Comeback 1911 and Beretta in this case. So, color from the 19X, texture and grip from uh, Wilson Comeback, and being a C. By pure luck, I don't remember how or where I was, I found this grip module from Wilson Combat that was on sale. So, I bought the grip module. This is what I had first. And this is what the grid module gives you, this, this brown, oh. I bought this grid module, so I had this on, uh, in my possession for about a month or so. And this was during the shortage when all the guns were sold out or anything like that during the pandemic, which we still are in the pandemic, kind of. And then one day, I was at a guns, gun range with a buddy of mine and I ran into this P320 custom works fire control unit which is as many of you know this is what considered the farms because on the SIG the trigger fire control unit is what serialized so that's the farm so I found one of these on sale I just jump on it not having anything else for the build but the price was reduced perfect condition very it was on sale it was brand new I just bought it and I figured I'll start the build. So, fast forwarding, that build has been the longest build I've done so far on any of my farms. I was a bit frustrated because parts were out of stock. I got some orders from SIG and I got shipped the wrong order. So, barrel, I bought the barrel from SIG. I got a long barrel. I wanted a threaded barrel. I wanted it to be an, a compact version of the SIG P320 or X Compact. The nomenclature is all over the place. They have so many sizes, X Compact, X Carry, and all that. At the beginning, I was a bit confused. I was lost in translation to all those names. So, I was trying to make sure my slide and all the components fit the X Compact grip module. I got the wrong barrel. It took two months to replace the barrel with the right order, but I really think that they just forgot about my RMA and my request to replacement. So I finally got the barrel the other day. Um, I did buy a slide. This is a SIG P320 slide, but I didn't buy it from SIG. It's a 
I forgot the designation, but it's 3.9 inch slide. It's ready to receive an optics. So the day I decide to go optics, I will put a red dot on this pistol. What else? It was hard for me to find a recoil assembly. It took me about a month and a half to get a recoil assembly from C. It was all out of stock, I, I believe, for the SIG P320 Compact. When you buy a fire control unit, at least on the custom works, you get a coupon or a code for a 10% discount on an accessory. And I wanted a 20 round, 21 round magazine in the Coyote color. It took about two months to get this. From the moment I bought the part and I came home and I went on the website and I selected this to order, it was back ordered. Although you could order it on the website, it looked available but it took about two months for me to receive the magazine so again I had the pistol at that point I had the wrong the wrong slide I'm sorry the wrong barrel the slide the grip module the fire control unit I finally got a recoil assembly then I got the right barrel but I was I didn't have any magazine I finally got a magazine so the bottom line is as fun as it was it was a bit stressful to do this build because of the parts availability and me getting to know what works well on the SIG and what's the right part and things like that so but finally it's done I don't want to make sure I put it correctly it's finally completed I've shot it a couple of times not enough because to be honest I literally finished this about a week ago meaning I received the replacement bell about a week ago So finally it's done, I've shot it a few times, still less than 50 rounds so I'm probably going to try to find some time this weekend to shoot it, but the first observation, very accurate, I like the grip of course, I like the grip module, Wilson comeback looking, uh, the texture, I wish the magazine was were fitting a little bit better, I do have another seat. 320 magazine but with the Wilson grip module you can see there's a little gap of fitment issue so I won't worry about that right now maybe I'll find a different module uh, feels very good in the hand I like the texture and the way it holds threaded barrel of course so I can suppress it when I when I feel like it So far, my first impression is very manageable. I like the way it feels. I'm hoping to get this to be very, a very good handgun for matches. Through our training and combat self-defense, I'm I'm hoping it works well for me. So my my what I'm looking forward will be accuracy, very nice trigger, which the fire control unit and this custom works trigger is very good. I want accuracy, reliability very good on single act single hand operation so we will we will see um, yeah that's about 6R P320 a few things went into this right now fire control unit 6R custom works Wilson comeback 320 XCXT grip module P320 4.3 inch barrel threaded barrel 
CP320 slide 3.9 inch with uh, red dot ready for mounting a red dot or MOS. A couple of magazines from T320 and an extended C Coyote 21 round magazine. And eventually, after I shoot this, there is a little surprise which we will save for another video. In this little box, it's a little kit that we will. A little modification for the pistol so I won't reveal it today just subscribe to the channel keep watching the video and you will see how we transform this P320 into something else so that will be in the future video hope you enjoyed if you build a, a P320 post a comment Post a comment about this one. I do want. I do want to mention one thing. I like the grip module. I like this uh, texture here. I like the cutout and the serration, both on the slide and part of the serration on the grip module itself. But I'm really looking for that ruggedness, and that which makes it a better grip on the gun when you shoot. So again, it's brand. It's kind of just. It's not broken in yet. After 100, 200 rounds, we'll see how it performs, but so far, so good. I appreciate you watching the video. Subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.